In a May 16th puff piece in The Hollywood Reporter, intended at promoting his two upcoming Netflix projects, Arnold Schwarzenegger also spoke about some of his select earlier roles, more specifically The Terminator, which he's done with, and Conan, which he still wants another go at. In fact, he wants another go at Conan enough that The Hollywood Reporter devoted a tweet to it in which they present his pitch, aided by graphics that ever so subtly let everyone know that there's a script out there, the story is there, and there are directors that want to do it. This, of course, is aimed at making you all fired up and demand that this movie be made, because what's the problem? Well, there are a couple, which both Arnold and The Hollywood Reporter conveniently glossed over. But we're not about that, so in this video, we'll go through the challenges with King Conan, before diving into what is honestly the much bigger story, namely our exclusive scoop that the Conan live-action series is no longer being developed at Netflix, and what might be next. Arnold Schwarzenegger sprinkled in Conan references throughout the Hollywood Reporter puff piece, tacitly comparing his own father to Thalsa Doom and himself to Conan at one point. When the publication then asked him, and the pending Conan sequel, The Legend of Conan? He answered, It's been pending for the last ten years. Fredrik Malmberg owns the rights. He comes to me and says, Oh, I have a deal with Netflix. And when we ask Netflix, they don't know anything about it. It's one of those crazy things. I hope he figures it out. I think you do it like Unforgiven, where you play the age. There's a great script out there that John Milius wrote, and others have written one. The story is there. There are directors who want to do it. But he has to write, and until he sells the rights for one or two movies, or for the franchise, there's nothing you can do about it. Boy, it sounds like this Fredrik Malmberg better get his act together, doesn't it? But that would be because some of the things stated there doesn't stand up to scrutiny, while some other things were very conveniently left out. First and foremost, that script that John Milius wrote back in the early 2000s was for the movie King Conan, Crown of Iron, which almost happened, but which Arnold himself dropped out of due to his political aspirations at the time. That's what prevented Arnold and Milius reuniting for Conan, Arnold becoming governor. While Arnold was busy with that, Fredrik Malmberg oversaw, among other things, the release of Robert E. Howard's original, unedited Conan stories to the general public for the first time in 80 years, the relaunch of Conan in Dark Horse Comics, as well as introducing Conan to a whole new audience with the online multiplayer Age of Conan. He was also involved with the 2011 reboot starring Jason Momoa, but it took quite a few cooks to make that the mess it ended up being. We know this because we spoke to him about that and everything else Conan in a two-hour interview, which is linked to in the description, and if you are at all interested in Conan, you do not want to miss that. Back to Arnold. By the time he left office, he had aged out of the Millia script, so there's no reason to even bring it up. Even so, Malmberg then gave the Conan movie rights to Arnold by way of Universal, who set about developing Legend of Conan, now featuring Arnold's unforgiven pitch, or more accurately, David Gimmel's Legend, with Druss rewritten into Arnold's Conan, because that's what it was set to be. More importantly than that though, this was the last chance to do a King Conan movie, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. This was the last time that a studio with the resources to make such a movie contemplated actually doing so. This was when there was a script and there was a director, and that would be Miguel Sapochnik of later Game of Thrones and House of Dragon fame, and lest we forget, they had the rights. All Universal had to do was give it the green light, but they chose not to. Legend of Conan lost traction at Universal right around the time when Terminator Sega Genesis came out and flopped. Arnold's earlier post-governor comeback movies had also flopped, 
But that him returning to the Terminator, his most iconic role, didn't excite more audiences, caused them to second guess investing in the return to his second most famous role. So in the end, Universal pulled the plug and allowed the rights to revert, because no other studio wanted to take it on. When this happened, Legend of Conan, a project developed by and exclusively for Universal, was dead. It's not pending, the patient has expired. Legend of Conan is dead. As such, Friedrich Malmberg, against the backdrop of overseeing Conan Exiles, was then able to set up a Conan reboot series with Amazon. It was greenlit and two seasons ordered, until new boss Jennifer Salky cancelled it over toxic masculinity concerns. Because Malmberg and his showrunners insisted that the series had to be true to the original Conan stories, with blood, sex, gore and nudity. But this did not jive with Salky's more modern values, as seen in Amazon's Wheel of Time and the Rings of Power. In a fun twist of irony, the fired Conan showrunners Ryan Condal and partner in crime Miguel Sapochnik, again, then went over to HBO, where they fixed Game of Thrones with House of the Dragon, which proceeded to whoop Jennifer Salkis and Amazon's Rings of Power, both in viewership as well as critic and audience approval. That digression aside, Malmberg was then able to set up shop with Netflix, and through all of this there was communication with Arnold's camp every step of the way. Because Malmberg told us before that Arnold is forever intertwined with Conan, and he wants him involved in some capacity. So, when Arnold says that his Conan sequel has been pending for 10 years, that's not exactly accurate. Universal pulled the plug on it almost a decade ago. It died then. The script that's floating around can't be used because Universal owns it. No other Hollywood studio wants to gamble on Arnold's King Conan, and since then a Conan reboot has been in development at both Amazon and Netflix. Retweeting the Hollywood Reporter piece, Malmberg himself said, Great article. We spent three years with Netflix and talked to them about Arnold several times. We are now working with a major filmmaker who is great and a true Conan fan. We'll share more when I can by Crumb. But that's interesting phrasing. Spent three years with Netflix in the past tense. Now working with a major filmmaker in the present tense. Was Malmberg just sloppy with his wording here? Or is he saying something else? Upon seeing his tweet, I reached out to Malmberg and asked him, does this mean you left Netflix? To which he replied, yes, we worked and talked and spent good time, but ultimately it didn't come to fruition. That's Hollywood, onwards and upwards. I then asked him, does that mean you're working with someone else? He did not give me a straight answer, but his use of emojis suggests to me that yes, there is someone else in the wings though that someone else has not yet been announced. When I asked him about what went wrong at Netflix, he didn't offer any more details than he already had, namely that it didn't come to fruition. As long-time watchers will know, however, we have a number of sources in the industry and we break scoops every now and then. So I reached out to a source that sometimes knows what goes on behind the scenes at Netflix, and we just may have found an answer. Stay tuned, more details to come when we have them. But I think I can say right away that Conan not being made by the same streamer that made Henry Cavill quit The Witcher, and which just gave Egyptians and Egyptologists everywhere a fit with their recent Cleopatra series, might not be such a bad thing in the end. For now, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments.